we need to talk about Bitcoin because something big is happening right now for Bitcoin. And yes, I do have a lot of stuff to talk about today. Also, when it comes to Ethereum, when it comes to Cardano and when it comes to the markets in general here, because is September going to be the worst Bitcoin month Ever. Well, we are going to talk about that. So, welcome back, everybody. My name is Cristiano, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are new to this channel, then make sure to subscribe and also activate the bell right now. And let's get straight into Bitcoin. And I want to start off here on the four hourly time frame on my support and resistance levels. Because you can see that, well, actually now we are breaking down from the orange line here. But this orange line is doing everything it can to support the Bitcoin price. Because we're going down here and then the bulls are pushing up the price just above the orange line here. And uh, yeah, we've been going back and forth here multiple times. As you can see, as soon as the price gets uh, pushed down here, the bulls are pushing the price higher. They want to defend the $47,000 level here right at my orange line. So... That's cool. Uh, we will see at the end of this video if this is going to close below or if it's going to close above the orange line. That is actually uh, somewhat significant because we don't want to break too many of these levels. But I'm going to tell you uh, what I think is going to be a bad decision and uh, what I think is going to be a good decision here in a bit. But I mean, zooming out, a lot of people are panicking right now. Uh, I don't think that you should because this is something that were to be expected once we went up to the uh, orange box here at uh, 50,400. This was very strong resistance. And usually what we see, and uh, yeah, you have to go back to my previous videos if you want to know more about why this is the case. But usually what we see when we go up to this specific orange box here is that we do see a pullback. A, uh, and this pullback is not even, I mean, this is not that significant. It's, I mean, at this point, 6.5%. We could have a more severe pullback. But what we usually see is we see that pullback and then we go up, we break this level. And once we break this level, we uh, go completely, uh, you know, ballistic. It's, it's insane. So this is what we've been seeing previously. Uh, not only with my orange boxes in general, but this specific orange box, which is the Fibonacci Golden Pocket level, definitely. And all in all, if you just zoom out here, and this leads me into my next point, and that is that the $42,000 level, my red line here, this is the level we need to hold. Everything in between here is basically, it's not that important. It's not that important at all. The important thing is that we hold the $42,000 level. And uh, it is kind of the same, like when we went down here to the red line here, I said that everything in between the red line at $30,000 and $42,000 is just noise. And that, uh, yeah, once we broke break these levels, that's when you have that massive volatility. And you can see that uh, when we went down here to $30,000, every single time we went down here, I mean, we traded inside of this vicinity, of course. But we had a quick run up up to $42,000. So people flipped from ultra bearish here to very bullish right at the top here. And uh, sure, it went up a little bit more. But I would not be surprised to see these two levels between 42 and uh, 42 and up to the Fibonacci Golden Pocket here at 50500 to be uh, kind of similar to what we've been seeing here between $30,000 and forty-two. That everything in between here should be considered noise. And it's not that important. We need to break the Fibonacci Golden Pocket level here. Until we do that, this is going to be still strong resistance. But history told us that, yes, we were going to go up here. We were going to have a rejection, a pullback, just like I talked about in my videos a couple of weeks ago. And uh, then eventually, what history tells us is that we break this to the upside. So I don't want to miss out on this opportunity. Now, should you be selling Bitcoin right now. If it's looking likely that we are going to have a bit of a pullback here, does it make sense to sell Bitcoin? I would say no, because as I said, $42,000, strong resistance. And if you're going to sell Bitcoin here, you're basically selling Bitcoin in hopes of, uh, you know, saving 9%, or maybe we go down to this level, saving 7% or this level, saving 4%. But one thing you need to consider also is that that also, uh, you know, takes for granted that you're going to be able to get in here. So the worst thing to do is, of course, if you're holding Bitcoin right now, you sell it right here in anticipation of getting in at $45,000. 
you don't get that order executed or you're not paying attention to the markets or for some other reason the exchange is going down you do not fill that order and then bitcoin just goes up here breaks 51 and you know shoots up and then you have to buy back in at like sixty thousand dollars or something so that's the worst case scenario of course not financial advice but i'm just telling you like if you're hoping to uh to you know catch a five percent or save you like five six seven nine percent well that's also a risk because chances are you're not able to you know catch that absolute bottom and uh yeah there's always also the case that we don't go down here and that we just find support of my you know forty seven thousand orange orange line here and that from this level we continue to go up that's always a possibility, although it does look likely that we may come down to one of these lower levels here. But from a risk to reward standpoint, zooming out, looking at higher time frames, I don't see the logic in getting out right here in hopes of getting in lower because that's also a risk. If anything, what you could have done is just buy here once we broke the red line at 42. And then, you know, I told you about the massive resistance here at my orange box. Well, then you're talking about a 20% pump. So you buy down there, you take profit up here. That's 20%, you know, with 10x leverage, 200%. So then you're making some really nice profits. But yeah, getting in here, there's a risk in you not being able to catch the absolute bottom. So that's a dangerous uh, way to play this. But that's just my opinion. From a risk to reward standpoint, I am, of course, getting in here at $42,000 which you already know all about. So we will see if that order is going to be executed or not. Before we talk about Ethereum and Cardano and if Bitcoin is going to continue to go down here in September, if you want to get $2,000 over on Femex, $1,600 over, this is actually $3,600 if you sign up for my Bybit team. So I need to change this as well. So $3,600 if you use my link here and join my Bybit team. And then uh, $2,000 over on C-Trade. So take advantage of these bonuses if you want to get them. Other than that, if we look at this, this tells us that September is uh, one of the worst, actually it is the worst month so far in Bitcoin's history. You can see that 2011 down 40%. You know, on average, September is the worst month. Now this is a little bit outdated. So 2020 is not included here. So let me go to 2020 here and look for September in 2020. So September, it begins right here. So yeah, we did see a dump also in 2020 here. So September is the worst month in Bitcoin. So, but what you can see here is that, yeah, we had 40% here in 2011, but then you have 18%, you have 12, you have eight you have 15 so i mean it's not like we're going down by 25 percent every single september but yeah history tells us that september is usually a bad month for bitcoin so that actually strengthens my thesis that uh yeah perhaps we are going to you know go sideways here for a bit on my support and resistance levels you can see the uh, very clear boundaries here at 50 and 42 so maybe we're going to go sideways here maybe we're going to close somewhere in the vicinity, close September, somewhere in the vicinity of $42,000. Maybe, maybe not. Well, this data is telling us that that could be the case. One thing I want to show you on the four hourly time frame is also update you regarding the wedge here. So this wedge broke down and uh, yeah, this is also telling us that it's likely that Bitcoin is going to see some, some correction here. Also, uh, some people have been telling me that there's also a channel looking like this and yeah, that's perfectly fine. And it looks like we are about to uh, potentially break down from this channel as well so yeah um i mean looking likely to have a little bit of a uh, pullback here hopefully gathering momentum maybe off of the forty two thousand dollar level and then propelling higher so we will see about that that's my short term like kind of thing i'm preparing for but i don't mind because the forty two thousand dollar level i think is going to be a good buy-in opportunity as we ride this to the upside and maybe we're even able to uh, you know make the same kind of thing we made here when bitcoin broke down to thirty thousand dollars remember what we did here we bought down at thirty thousand dollars we took profit at 42 and we played this many many times you know making significant you know 30 35 25 percent profits every single time it went down here so i don't think that that's a bad strategy either now let's talk about ethereum so ethereum did not manage to clear the orange box here so you can see we actually went down here we tried to uh, get into it again one two three times did not manage to do that being rejected right now for cardano 
This is going to be the uh, resistance at $2.83. I do believe Cardano is most likely going to uh, go sideways for a bit as well until smart contract launches where you are going to see some volatility. Now, we don't know if that volatility is going to be to the up or to the downside. How many people have been buying now in anticipation of selling the news once smart contract launches? We don't know. Also, we don't know how big the demand is going to be if you see a lot of dApps and everything being very successful on Cardano. So that could push the price higher. So just know we are going to see volatility. We just don't know if it's going to be to the up or to the downside. So yeah, be careful about that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.